I'm Chad, an American expat from Miami, Florida, currently living in Bregenz, Austria, on Lake Constance with beautiful views of the Austrian Alps. Subscribe to my channel and let's explore Austria together. Today we're in Bregenzewald. It took us about an hour to drive here and we're going to be hiking the Schönenbach Rundweg. That translates to beautiful river and Rundweg means loop trail. It's about a five mile hike and at the end of the hike we're going to be stopping at this restaurant that's right behind me and we're going to be eating a really traditional Austrian meal called Kehspätzle. It's the best one we've ever had. Stick around to the end to check that out and enjoy today's video. Before we start on today's trail, we're going to fill up our water bottles right here. This is fresh mountain spring water and it tastes delicious, it's ice cold. This is the start of the trail. It's going to loop all the way back into the mountains back here. And we're going to come out from this side right here, which will take us back to the restaurant. This hike is pretty easy. We do this hike usually once or twice every year. And it's mostly level. There's only a couple of spots where you go uphill. We're on the trail pretty early today. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. And it's a good thing we came early because the sun is already out pretty strong. And it's gonna be really hot here in Austria today. So we're trying to get it done early. So we're back home by midday when it's the hottest. I'm trying to cool Hootie down a little bit. It's hot out today. <laughs> That's cold water, huh, bud? Good boy, come here. Good boy. I just found some wild strawberries on the trail. I'm gonna wash them off in the river real quick just in case a dog peed on them. <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay, now I'm gonna give the strawberries a taste. I've had them before. They're really good. They're super intense in flavor, even though they're really small. This is why this area is called Schönenbach, beautiful river. enjoying seeing this beautiful part of Austria make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more adventures here in Austria we just entered into a cow pasture and you have to be really careful here when you have a dog with you today we have our little chihuahua hoodie with us because the mother cows are really protective of their babies so Andrea is carrying him as to not spook any of the mom cows because a couple of people have already been trampled because of that so it's best to keep your distance. The cows are all over the trail here. If you don't know, the bells on the cows are really traditional here. It's so the farmers can hear where their cows are when they're high up in the mountains. We've never seen this many cows here before. It's really cool. All you can hear is them mooing and the bells clinging all around you. We're two miles into our hike and we're trying to pick up the pace a little bit because we made reservations at that restaurant and it's taking us a little bit longer because I keep stopping to film stuff. So I got to put the camera away for a little bit and get a move on. We just found a giant snail on the trail and we're going to... It's called a horse snail. What's it called? Horse snail. A horse snail. We're going to rescue him, get him off the trail before he gets stepped on or run over by a bike. I took a couple rocks with him. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get him over here. Put him down in the bushes here. Okay, snail. 
Good luck, stay off the trails. trail splits here and we're gonna head left down through here a good part of the trail from here you walk through the fields last summer we made the mistake of coming here right after it rained and this was all mud ankle deep our shoes were covered in mud it was a disaster we had to get in the river to rinse the mud off our shoes so we could keep walking it's pretty hot out today and this trail is mostly in the sun I'm already looking forward to getting to the restaurant and having an ice cold beer. We still got a couple more miles to go. This is the hardest part of the whole hike. It's pretty steep uphill and there's really uneven stones the whole way. It makes it kind of hard to walk up here. We almost made it. That's the restaurant off in the distance there. Maybe another 10-15 minutes. I'm definitely ready for some lunch and an ice cold beer. We made it to the restaurant. We already got our drinks. I got a Sousa Sarada. This is half beer and half Sprite. It's my favorite drink to have here in the summer. <laughs> Andrea got a Gespritzte Johannisbeer Saft. That means it's uh, Johannisbeer is this little black fruit here. It's like smaller than a grape and they just mix it with soda water. It also tastes really good. Alright, so our food is here now, and this is the Kehspitz that I was telling you about. It's made with a really strong cheese, fried onions on top, and little dumplings. There's a fly getting on it. Good. <laughs> As you can see, we really like the Kehspitze. There's none of it left over, it's all gone. But it's the perfect meal after a long hike. The thing about our outdoor eating experience today is there's flies everywhere. We're constantly having to guard our food from them. Thanks for watching today's video guys and hiking with me here in Austria. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more of my adventures here in Austria. Auf Wiedersehen!